This is the Iowa Weather Report for Saturday, November 23rd, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At noon today, we have a trough digging in across the northern tier of the country through the Great Lakes. We have an upper level low over Southern California and Northwestern Baja, California. And this cold air is just dumping into the country at 1048 millibar high over South Dakota. Keeps the winds coming out of the north. They'll be quite breezy today. That could drive wind chills down to near or below zero. Highs in the 20s, maybe even teens in the northern counties. Sunday morning, it's going to be very cold. Lows at or below zero, or at least in the single digits either side of zero. They will warm back into the 20s to lower 30s across the state. Coolest east, warmest west. But that doesn't last very long either, because here comes another clipper system Monday that could drop the temperatures back to around 30, with maybe a few snow showers or flurries in the eastern and northeastern counties of the state, better chances up to our north and east. Then it just looks downright cold Tuesday and even Wednesday. Be rain across the south and east, some snow or lake effect in the Great Lakes, highs here around 20 to 5 to maybe 32 or so. Looks the same on Wednesday. Could be another cool morning Wednesday morning. Lows may be in the single digits, mid-single digits, north to low teen south. And any travelers Wednesday, like affects snow and some rain and snow in the east and southeast. Thanksgiving Day looks fairly quiet. The east coast will be drying out and fairly cold in the New England states, especially for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York. Around here, highs around 30 to 38 or so. And then Black Friday, it'll be hmm, maybe about hmm, a couple degrees warmer, 33, 34 in the northeast to maybe about 40 in the southwest, with some wind starting to come out of the south from and southwest at this point. But that doesn't last long, because next Saturday, you can see another system coming through with some energy moving across Minnesota and Manitoba into western Ontario. The trough axis hangs back into the desert southwest. And most of the precipitation with that looks to stay in Minnesota and Wisconsin, but we can't rule out maybe a flurry or so as temperatures will drop back into the lower 30s, maybe upper 20s, heading into next weekend. As we go into the extended period of voodoo, December the 4th, we have a fairly large windmaker over the Canadian Maritimes in New England with a trough there. Bit of a flat ridge over the west, but... That high pressure is going to be overhead, and that means more cold weather. Highs maybe around 25 or so, give or take, and lows in, give or take, about 10. Lake effect in New England, rain in the south. And at the end of the forecast on December the 8th, we have another trough axis moving through New England. A bit of a ridge around here as temperatures finally start to moderate, but when we're talking the early to middle part of December, moderation means the temperatures will be nearing 40. As high pressure will be over about Detroit or Windsor. Very cold in New England. Somewhat cold in the Great Lakes. Be warming up in the Plains and we hope that we'll see 40 by then. Satellite image from last evening. We had a system over the southwest and into Texas that's been producing a lot of wintry, rainy, kind of miserable weather down there. Otherwise, a couple of clouds in New England and mid-Atlantic and it's quiet elsewhere. The watch warning map, not very quiet. Some lake effects, snow advisories and warnings in the Great Lakes. Wind chill warning and advisories up in North Dakota and wintry weather in the south from Texas, Oklahoma and westward. When we take a look at the... QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock, showing nothing around here. Lots of rain and snow in the south and west, rain in the valleys, snow in the mountains, and a lot of rain from the south and into New England.